Hello, I'm doing my book review on Jonathan Kozo Letters to a Young Teachers. And he is basically writing a letter back and forth to a young teacher in the inner city of Boston by the name of Francesca. She's a newer teacher, he's a more experienced teacher, and he's been in the profession about like 40 years. So he is an author and um, a journalist. She is going through her first year of teaching, and he's basically giving her advice on how to teach and how to, to manage her classroom. Like, she's a newer teacher, and he's telling her how to deal with newer teachers, how to learn from older teachers, how to deal with diversity, racial integration, looping programs, and things like that because she writes him letters concerning things like diversity because she's in an all black school which means that like the kids are not being treated like the white kids would be treated in the regular public school so she's in an all black school teaching first graders and Jonathan was when he was a teacher he used to teach fourth graders black kids but in his time they were more strict with um black black kids and they were harsh on them and he was ba he basically taught his classroom to believe that they could trust him and they gave him standards to teach to the kids and they weren't really learning from those standards so he found his own way his basically his own vision of like how to teach the kids because when he was in when he was in school school program they were telling him that they should just teach the kid he should just teach the kids go to class teach them the standards that they give him and all the lessons that they tell him to give him the way they wanted him to do it and they weren't really learning because if the black kids acted out in his classroom then they got punished and they got sent to the basement where they got whipped in like the 1960s that's when basically I think it happened. And he he got moved up to the fourth grade where he then started with a new classroom and the classrooms were not fairly in a good condition and they were just horrible conditions to teach kids. So in his like first couple of weeks he got he promised the kids to like that he could teach them but he was gonna teach them in a different way. He's made a promise to them that he was gonna be basically their not close to as possible as to be their friend and not the be like as strict as the other kid teachers were. So he basically goes through that with those kids and and then she tells her the to become build a relationship with the kids. Like get them to trust her and how she teaches and not so she pushes them away and just teaches her a lesson because she can teach them the standards but they're not gonna listen because they're being influenced by what society says that black kids are and they don't re and she's a white teacher so that just has his own thing for it and then he she writes to him about the problem of how to keep the parents and how to build a relationship with the parents and the parents are she says that when they go to the, to parent teacher conferences, she doesn't know what to do with show because she doesn't know if she should build a relationship with the parents and if that's a professional or not. And he tells her that's that's something basically a choice that she has to make because he had the same problem where his principal basically brought all the parents to the school, but they weren't really comfortable being at the school because it was black parents and white teachers. See, it was like they came and they had fake smiles and they didn't really trust the instructor who was doing the whole meeting. So he he told her to basically bring the parents and invite them to learn about what their kids are doing, how their kids are prog progressing in the class. And he used to do like the same thing. He went to a dinner at parents house the students he was teaching 
and he used to go to like door to door, take kids home or go visit them. And he told his principal about what he was doing because he was happy about his work. And his principal, Jonathan's principal, he she basically shut him down because she said that what he was doing was not professional because he brought his girlfriend and he he was building um, a relationship with the parents outside of the school. And there, his principal basically said that that wasn't professional enough, excuse me. And it goes on to things like that. And she, she gets more advice about him about how the kids should be treated equal within the classroom and outside in the classroom. And how... And then he goes more in depth to about how he basically goes against how the old style of teaching is kind of like not working for him. And he's trying to make a new style of um, teaching, like learning how to deal with multicultural, um, how to deal with like different type of genders coming into the equation and like things like that. And then he tells her things that... The she should consider in her classroom like having a set time for where the kids have a time to free write and then you do, she just has to tell give them a time to like free write but she doesn't have to necessarily um, necessarily give them a topic to write about and have that time so the kids kind of like have more right of horizon basically so she can like know what's going on with the kids how they think of her class, what they're going what they're going through. And they're only first graders, so yeah. And Jonathan, he's a he's a type of like professional that he is so experienced that teachers actually invite him to his class to talk about education. Like Francesca does, she invites him to his class to talk to her class because he has a lot of experience, and other teachers tell him to do the same thing. But he has this like joke where he like says that he doesn't know. He messes up the teacher's lesson plan because he doesn't really do things according to plans, and he kind of messed up. Like in one occasion, he asked the, this girl. He asked the class a question, and this girl was raising her hand to get attention and making the noises to get his attention and when he finally called on her the girl was like um she forgot what she was talking about and she didn't know what to say and the teacher had to like rescue him <laughs> and bring him back on track that's jonathan that she had to actually rescue you're not the student because he was actually off what she was talking about so he went off her lesson and went to like a different lesson he does that Sometimes in a lot of situations, it's normal for him. Um, it's just this style of teaching. And that's basically what the book is about. It's basically, he basically gives her advice on her first year. And he reflects on what he did in the past when he was a teacher. He reflects on that and he tells her that to basically do things that she thinks is correct like teach things that are supposed to be taught but teach them in a way where the kids can actually learn from you and not just block you out because this what society is saying about racial integration or diversity and things like that and he's telling about looping programs and Things like that. So he covers covers a lot of things in the book, and he's basically writing to this new teacher about how to handle situations in the classroom and be calm and professional about it, and professional in her own way. And that is letters to the young teacher by Jonathan Kozel. I think I think it's a good read. And that is the recap on my book review. Till next time.